here is a test question for you we will we are exploring derivative of the functions and the question here is state the domain on which the given functions are differentiable so i'll give you a few functions and you need to say at which point it is not differentiable and what is really the domain on which the function is differentiable so let me first give you a few equations say y equals to 1 over x or y equals to uh, square root of x minus 2 and let us say y equals to x plus 1 over x minus 2 so let these be few functions on which you may uh, you know find the domain where it is differentiable right so now I'll give you a few sketches so from the sketch also you can actually figure out whether a function is differentiable or not in its entire domain right so so let me take uh, four examples here so I'll give you four examples and you need to figure out what is the domain on which the function is differentiable so first one let me just write down uh, that seems to be an absolute function which has moved let us say uh, to minus 5 units to the left we could have a um, uh, cube root function right so the cube root function is is kind of like this it is like this it goes up like this and this so that could be a cube root function okay now we could also have a function which is kind of a, a a degree 4 polynomial right so we could have a function like this okay so that is fine so that could be one function or we could have a function which is uh, which is a piecewise function right so so you could have a function which starts from here and let's say let's fill this up okay and then from here it could be kind of like this where this point is a whole right so that could be a piecewise function so these are different functions which I have considered and you need to find out the domain where the function is differentiable now what do we really mean by that the function is differentiable right so that is means that you can find derivative at in that domain correct so the function is differentiable if you could find derivative that means f dash of x right that is what it is so let's look into them one by one the first one here is 1 over x so 1 over x if you try to find the derivative at uh, x equals to 0 what will happen well you know at x equals to 0 the limit of the function does not exist since 1 over x has a discontinuity a vertical asymptote right so let me sketch this function for you here most of the functions which are given uh, on this side a kind of rational functions so 1 over x is a function which is kind of like this right so it has infinite discontinuity at x equals to 0 right so that is 1 over x and since it has infinite discontinuity at x equals to 0 it is not differentiable at x equals to 0 right that point does not exist on this particular function correct and therefore we could write that the domain of this function is x belongs to real numbers but x is not equal to zero so that becomes your answer for this so we could write this domain as that x belongs to real numbers where x is not equal to zero on all other points this function is differentiable now the next function is square root of x minus 2 if you sketch this function what are you going to get you'll get uh, the square root function will be kind of uh, like this square root function moving two units to your right correct so that is how it is going to be now if you want to draw a tangent at this particular point which is the starting point for this function you cannot right so at this point it is not differentiable correct therefore this function is differentiable in its entire domain which is x belongs to real number uh, but x is not differentiable at 0 right? at 2 right which is the 0 value 0 or the x intercept but it is differentiable at all other points which are greater than 2 so so that is the domain on which the given function is differentiable correct 
The answer for the last one is, which is similar to that one, x equals to 2, it is not differentiable. And therefore, we'll write this function as, you could also write sometimes that minus infinity to 2 union from 2 to plus infinity. That's an alternate way of writing the domain where the function is differentiable. Now, using this concept, you can write down your answer for these functions also. Here, I will discuss with you the points where the function is not differentiable. Now, the points are, as you know, this is a corner. So, so corner, it is not differentiable and it is differentiable elsewhere. In this, we have a vertical tangent here. Do you see that? Vertical tangent means undefined, right? So, so vertical tangent. So it is not differentiable at x equals to 0 in this case, but in rest of the domain it is. Here we have a discontinuity and we call this as a jump discontinuity. So at jump discontinuity, or for that matter, <coughs> any kind of discontinuity, the function will not be differentiable, right? Uh, there are a few more examples which I could incorporate here. Uh, let me squeeze it in uh, here in a different thing, right? So that is cusp, right? So if I have a structure which has a cusp in it, for example, a function like this, then at this point it is not differentiable, right? So at this point it is not differentiable. So we call this as a cusp. So the function is not differentiable at cusp or a corner or where there is a vertical tangent or, you know, or there is a vertical asymptote. So in this case, it is a vertical asymptote. Or there's discontinuity of this kind, right? So these are the places. This is a continuous function. Here it is differentiable on the entire domain of real numbers, right? So this one is fine. Here it is differentiable on x belongs to real numbers but x is not equal to 0, right? In this particular case, if this point is 1, then at x not equal to 1, here x not equal to 0, here x not equal to minus 5. So I hope this video gives you a fairly good idea about understanding why a function may not be differentiable at few points. Now, the question for you is, let me write down the question for you. Uh, uh, give examples of continuous functions where the function is not differentiable at x equals to 2. So let me write down the question here separately. Uh, give, provide examples of continuous function not differentiable at x equals to, let us say 2, right, some value, it doesn't matter. So provide examples of continuous functions which are not differentiable at x equals to 2, right. There are quite a few on this sheet itself. So you can take some hint from here and then answer this question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.